Hey there, welcome back to Transformers Events of Fallen the Game. As you go on the last episode, I showed you Decepticon Thundercracker. And now we are on to the final all spark powered character, that being Autobot Evac, who is a reskin of Grindor. Now, I had a few difficulties with this one, mainly in copter mode. So I want to give a bit of a thanks to Primus Nation for helping me with the, I guess you could say, verification process with the skinning. I'll get more into that later, but let's let's get this wrapped up. And here we have Autobot Evac. Like that little intro sequence, huh? Yeah, I figured that'd be fun to do. Okay, Evac. Well, I will say robot mode is probably the easiest part of the skinning process. When I tackled this guy, I pretty much went with the same technique I went with the Transformers the Game version. So I pretty much copied what I did there with this version, but I'll run down him just the same. So he's got a black something right there. The top of his head is fully orange, and he has blue optics, which I'm just gonna make a note now. The main release will not include blue optics. I'm gonna try and figure out a way to include a version that does have blue optics but I'm still trying to figure out exactly how that's gonna work, so... I'll figure something. Moving on, he's got, um... Some... Orange, black, and white in that section right there. His... Whatever that is, I should've researched helicopter parts beforehand. Is a darker gray. Arms are pretty much all orange. Um, he's got some white on his back. Got some black on the core of his back right there. Orange here, orange on the back side. Orange pretty much on all of the legs, but with some gray and white to kind of change it up. I know the Voyager version of Evac had white on the legs, but my reasoning for that... Evac it really only has like one section that is white, and that's on his shoulders right here. So, realistically speaking, it didn't make sense for the white to be on his legs. But I included a little bit on the feet just to uh, space it out, I guess. Um, yeah. That's... Pretty much it for robot mode. That was the easier part of all of this. But, I should also mention, you know, I can't replicate Evac's exact head, so I... I went with as close of replication as I could. Based off of Blackout, or Grindor's head. Whoever. Anyway, that's what I did, that's what I've done. Let's check out vehicle mode. Evac, transform! Yes. This was without question the hardest part of skinning this guy. Mainly because getting good views of the helicopter is not easy. So for a lot of my testing, I pretty much had to take Evac to the For the Love of Sam level, which you just saw the cutscene from, and get good views of him there to see what I need to change and what I did need to change. It wasn't fun, but a heck of a lot easier than it was with Movie 2007 Starscream, this camo. Anyway, let's run down things, shall we? He's mostly orange. Pretty much mostly orange everywhere, but the sides are white with the gray bomb. Isn't that the bomb? Not really sure. Got a little bit of white right there. 
top is black. Uh, see, it's really hard to get a good view of him. Yeah. Yeah, I really can't show you much with this, so if you want a better view, go back to the cutscene at the beginning. But the hardest part, without question, was that stupid Autobot symbol in the front. Well, actually, it wasn't hard to make. It was simply a matter of getting a good look at it, because you really can't get a good look at it from here, as you can see. So that's where a friend of mine, Primus Nation, came in, and since he is a friend of the Fallen now, I was able to look at him playing Grindor, or Evac, and was able to tell if I had it right or not. And I'm pretty sure I got it pretty on spot. I hated doing it, but I had to include that. I could not not include that because it is important. <sighs> yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Like I said, the main release will not include blue optics simply because it's going to affect the Decepticon characters, and I don't want that, so I'm hoping to do like a single release of EVAC with the blue optics. I'm still trying to work that out, but I will find a way to get that out to you. So, now that we've shown off EVAC and all of his glory, let's have some fun with him. our anti-aircraft guns. Autobots, can you repair? Also have multiple wounded in need of evac. Well, we're, oh, worry no further. Like evac is Fire here. Yep, yeah, I figured this was the perfect place to take evac. And, if you ever wonder what happened if you replace a helicopter with a jet and runs falling, it's something like this. You can tilt over. You see, if I knew about this further, this would have made testing a lot easier. I could actually see the boss symbol. So this would have been good to even think about beforehand. Uh, I don't think he, can, he can't do stunt maneuvers. But, oops. You can freeze in midair. That's cool, right? There, there, now you get a good look at the bot symbol. Anyway. The humans are in need of evac. And evac they shall receive. Enough, Scrapper. Guns are being disabled. Can you fix? Repeat. We need a fix. Get out of here, Seeker. Oh, I can't shoot that far. Well, dash. Fix the turret evac. This is the perfect mission for him. Guns back online. But we have more disabled. You fixed it. Yes, I did. Evac will save the day. It's kind of convenient he's in an environment like this because the Voyager came with like a raft gun. Target lost gone. Now. Attack all enemy units! Oh, Hit the skill shot. It's good. It's enhanced. Yellow, where'd he go? What? What? That was weird. Don't know what happened there. Okay, fix the turret. Guns online. Keep moving. I will keep moving. Yeah, as you can see, his rotors aren't moving. So, yeah, it's a bit quirky. W where did that seeker come from? Oh no, oh he didn't fall off, he will now. Incredible. It was, wasn't it? Destroy all enemy units. Headshot. Headshot. Hey look, more helicopters, wait, wait a minute. Nice work on the AA. I thought they shared a texture. They don't? Well that's interesting. Here I am was thinking they shared a texture. Okay, that's nifty. Yeah, he can't do any stunt maneuvers. Quirky, I know, but Boosh. I'm fine. Ow, I'll fix it. Good job. Now we gotta save the humans. Sonar indicates activity around Megatron's body. They may be trying to revive him. No. Really? 
I know. It's buggy, but it's interesting. Of course, I mentioned unlike Jeffire, he'll actually be able to pick some people up. Yes, he can. So many seekers here. Target locked on. Thanks for the support, Autobots. Yeah. Yeah, this is the version you'll be getting in the main pack, the Watch one with the levels. We can't do this without you. red optics. See? Red, yeah. Just how it's gonna be. But I'll, I'll get a version out with blue optics somehow. Oh, I'm taking damage. Yeah, wob and weave, wob and weave. Come, human. Enough. They're <laughs> safe for now. Good work. Yeah. All right, human. Let's go. I saw a skill shot. Ah, uh, we, we can get that later, or forget about it altogether. Sonar shows Megatron's moving. Wow, what a shocker. For Megatron. Boom. Come, human, we must step away. Enemy spotted. This is the perfect environment for evac. There are no rooftops. We're in your dead, Autobot. Those men didn't stand a chance. No, they did not. And here comes Megatron. Did you think you'd seen the last of Megatron in sex? I... And thus concludes the AllSpark Powered Pack. The link for it will be in the description, you can download it right now. So, now that this pack is done, I'm gonna be heading back to Transformers the game for my next big project now. I'll have more details on that in another video. But yeah, I'm gonna try and work on a Rinse of the Fallen mini pack as well. I have like one pack that's kind of close to being finished but it needs a bit more work but I'm not sure if that's the next thing I'm gonna do so we'll see what's next. Since this pack's release um, you might try and try it out a multiplayer maybe you can try and set a game up or something. We'll see. But yeah that's it for the Spark Power Pack. I will see you in whatever is next. Probably back at Transformers again. So till then, later.